Hey guys, so today we are going to be creating a CICD pipeline using AWS. So we'll be using an S3 bucket, um, code pipeline, as well as GitHub. Now I will make another video on how to do it without GitHub and just utilizing the repo inside of um, code commit. But today is strictly using GitHub. So what is the CICD? It stands for continuous integration, continuous delivery. And basically what that means is automation. It'll automate what you're trying to do basically for you. So what we're going to be doing today using CICD is using a website and we're going to use automatic updates. So you will see I'm going to add in um, code and we're going to deploy the pipeline. And then after that, we're going to update the code and see how it automatically changes without us having to go in and manually deploy. It will deploy on its own. So some CICD benefits are easier releases, bug detection, easier monitoring, and of course, everybody's favorite, cost reduction. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's dive right in. Okay, so we're gonna start with creating an S3 bucket. So I'm gonna go to S3, which I already have typed in here. It may be on your home screen, or if not, you know, maybe in your favorite bar, but if not, you can type right into the search bar and it'll go right up. So we're gonna go into S3 and we're gonna create a bucket. So for starters, bucket names must be globally unique, meaning nowhere in the world must contain this bucket name. Now I'm simply gonna use my name because nowhere in the world probably has my name with a bucket and I'm gonna put a one behind it. I think I don't have one with one behind it. But yeah, so globally unique name, you can add extra numbers, extra letters, maybe put your name in there to make it unique to you know you in the world. So we're gonna enable ACLs and then we're also going to turn off um, blocking public access because without that we wouldn't be able to see our website that's going to be inside of our pipeline and then we need to acknowledge this so that they know that we do know that we cut that off and then that's it that's all we need to do for a bucket just create the bucket very simple okay so now we're going to go to cold pipeline and make our pipeline so I already have a pipeline in here because I have made a website before and I do have an article on that. So, you know, if you ever want to refer back to it and just see something quick, I'm going to put the article down in the description. But I'm going to name my pipeline, um, I'm just call it CICD site. Okay. And then I already have a service role, so I'm going to use that. But if you don't, you can always just create a new service role and name it right there and click next. The source provider will be GitHub and you can just connect your GitHub. Now I've already connected my GitHub before. This box may not pop up first and it may say GitHub and you have to authorize it, maybe do multi-factor and then um, you may be good to go and then you confirm it. So mine is already in here. So my GitHub is attached. I'm going to use my HTML repository and main branch. Now don't be like me, I only use the main branch. A merger branch is too right. So we are gonna skip the build stage. I don't want to use the build stage because we don't need it. We just need the uh, deploy stage. So we're gonna use the deploy stage and we are gonna be using the S3 bucket we just created for the deploy stage. Now, very important to not forget, you need to make sure you click this extract file before deploy because if not, when you go to open your website, it's gonna turn into a downloadable file. And that's a problem I had for a long time, the very first time I ever made a website. So make sure you click extract file before deploy. That is very critical. Click next. You can review, you know, all the information that tells you everything in here and then you can create your pipeline. So your pipeline will take a few seconds to deploy. It may take a few minutes, but it usually doesn't take that long. Um, I'm gonna refresh my page to see I was going and my says this deployed so I'm going to click right here on s3 and my bucket is the my um sorry my file is the CICD HTML and then we can click open and there we are here's the website now this picture is mine I made this picture for my um, article so you know I have the picture up here and we have successfully created the CICD and shows you the benefits of CICD and everything now we want to update and have it automatically update our files and things inside of github so i'm going to click on my github and go to the file that we that i created in here i'm going to edit the file click right here on the pencil and edit the file now i am going to add something at the bottom i'm going to put it right here and that should be good and i'm going to commit my changes and let it say whatever update it 
So now if we go to the pipeline, you see it's already updating. It already realized that we updated it. So if we refresh, it's deployed. So if we go back to our website and we hit refresh, now you see at the bottom, thanks for viewing. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's why you should use the CICD because it's very beneficial. It saves you time versus if we had to go in and manually deploy all these things. So that's how you make a CICD. It works pretty much the same way every time, unless you would like to add a build stage, you may change some things up. But otherwise, this is how you make a CICD. So I really hope this video was helpful. You find it very informative. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.